All right, everybody, welcome to another episode of Unique Adventures. This weekend, we are going out dry camping with the trailer. Uh, we've done this before uh, without a whole lot of solar, but this weekend, we got a treat for you guys. We are heading out to Eastern Washington. It is gonna be full sun, full solar out there. We are gonna get to test, is our factory 380 watts of solar? going to be able to keep up with our powerhouse of a 12 volt uh, fridge compressor fridge and uh, so we're starting here it's a little bit after five o'clock we are at 100 percent on the meter and uh, we're going to take you along this weekend and just show you uh, just normal use and see if our solar package in good sun can keep up with this monster let's go ahead and head to eastern washington all right, so we've made it now. It is dark outside. We're out in Yakima, Big Pines Recreation Area out here. It is close to getting to nine o'clock and we are down about five amp hours right now currently uh, in the drive here from when we disconnected about four hours ago. We were probably pulling in some solar on the way here, uh, but it's dark. We're gonna get set up, gorgeous views out here. So we will catch up with you guys when it's a lot brighter outside and we can uh, really see tonight uh, what, uh, how much uh, juice we draw and tomorrow, we got all this open wide uh, open space here and uh, we're uh, going to get to see uh, if our solar can keep up 380 watts on the roof versus that 12 volt fridge. We'll see you guys in the morning for the test. And good morning everybody. So we are out here, Big Pines, BLM area. Uh, we're doing that uh, 12 volt uh, refrigerator versus solar test. Um, this trip, it's one of the big things, can uh, our solar keep up with the fridge? So we're gonna give you a little update uh, this morning when uh, I woke up probably around six o'clock this morning. It looks like we have already used about a little bit over 30 amp hours over the night uh, so we were down to about 36 amp hours negative uh, going into the morning and we are already starting to bring in sun and solar so let's go ahead and check um, our smart shunt and see exactly where our power is at currently So as you can see, we've already regained about three amp hours already this morning. And currently right now we are pulling in a little bit over six amps of uh, power from solar. We are in optimal conditions for our time of year. Right now it is the end of April. We are also up here in the Pacific Northwest, so we don't get the most direct sun, uh, but we're, you know, with it being in April now, we're gonna get more into more of a perfect environment. And the way we've got our trailer set up will actually allow us to get as much as possible. Um, I think we are going to be in good shape. We're already at 6 amps. It's right around 8 o'clock in the morning. And uh, I'm going to show you here real quick. So the sun is right there. And it is going to be going north to south over our trailer all day long and our solar panels are right here so at the peak of the day right down on we should be bringing in probably some of the best power we have ever seen um, that's what I'm gonna go with we've been clocked close to 20 amps uh, on this 380 watts of solar so yeah we're already on a good jump now the fridge isn't on right now it cycled throughout the night and it is going to be in the mid to upper 80s today which is a little bit warmer than it usually is but this is great for us to get to go out and camp this weekend and to get to check this out but we've got no obstructions out here we are going to get solar all day long and we're going to see can that 12 volt fridge actually keep up? I think we got a really good chance at uh, uh, at doing it, but uh, stay tuned a little bit later in the day 
everything's running so good with the solar so far we'll catch up with you guys maybe a little bit closer to noon and see kind of where our power needs are at back out here got the trailer going uh, it is now 12 o'clock uh, high noon the Sun right now is almost directly above us it's coming in kind of from the side right now we don't got um, you know optimal optimal setup but we are still at any point bringing in 14 to 16 amps um, and this is going to be the best part of the day right now but let's go ahead and kind of show you what our numbers look like uh, now because it's been you know since eight o'clock this morning about four hours or so so let's go ahead and check these numbers all right so we've got our apps here uh, we're going to check our go power one first to kind of see what we're uh, what we're bringing in here and currently right now 16.2 amps we have currently brought in 48 amp hours uh, since this morning we reset this charge controller this morning so we've brought in almost 50 amp hours already today uh, which is actually quite impressive and then we'll bring in our Victron smart shunt and we are currently at 99% it is about 1230 and we are only down 3.2 amp hours so in four hours this morning we've already replenished everything that we used last night so as of right now uh, with optimal conditions uh, we are we are doing just fine uh, the fridge has been running so we've been burning some amp hours there um, we're going to flex the system a little bit more. Obviously this afternoon we're going to have to run our max fan some more and we're going to run some other things. Uh, so stay tuned right now, uh, 380 watts of solar, not even in direct uh, optimal sunlight, uh, is getting the job done. Uh, and uh, we're, uh, we're having a good time out here. We're in Yakima and I mean, look at the sunshine just straight sunshine right now and uh solar lovers dream out here people out here running generators which is fine but us nah we're we're not gonna have to probably do that uh and uh we'll keep uh checking back with you a little bit later this afternoon to see what uh where we're at and uh kind of how everything's going and we are now here late afternoon still saturday uh, we have had a good day. We went around and did some campground reviews. Uh, we're going to be showing you guys those. Uh, but we're going to check up on our solar and kind of what has been going on with that for today. The sun has gone down over the edge here. We're only bringing in like maybe an amp or two amps. And uh, so we're going to check those numbers it was uh it was a really fruitful day for bringing in solar uh everything topped off right around 12 30 and we um we pretty much stayed topped off till about six o'clock at 7 30 now we're starting to lose some amp hours now because the sun's going down but uh we went we went all day so let's go ahead and show you those numbers real quick so it's currently seven o'clock we are back down to 97%. We are currently pulling 5.5 amps, so the fridge must be on. And uh, so we're almost back up to full. And uh, so the solar did keep up today. Uh, and then we're gonna bring up our go power here. And so it shows us we're bringing in 0.9 amps right now. This one down here, the amp hours, remember we reset this this morning, so we brought in a total of 91 amp hours today with 380 watts of solar. So, uh, so yeah, that was, uh, that was really good. So look at that sunset in the, in the, in our window here in our mini light. So our 2109S, our Rockwood mini light, with the 380 watts of solar on it today produced 91 amp hours, which is almost 
pretty much enough to cover you on a daily basis. Uh, we figured in one of our last videos that we did on this when we tested the 12 volt fridge that we were pulling 80 to 100 amp hours a day. So we have, uh, if you've got good solar and uh, you got good wide open space and the time of year is almost ideal, 380 watts can keep up the dual 190 watt go power panels hard mounted on the roof can keep up with that 12 volt monster of a fridge uh, we do still plan on adding some side solar into spots where maybe we don't have ideal um, solar setup or solar situation but the system performed so well today. Uh, we know if we've got sun, we're gonna be able to get through a weekend. I mean, we could almost, if we had sun like this every day, we could be out almost indefinitely. 200 amp hours of lithium, 380 watts of solar, and we don't even have an MPPT charge controller. We've only got the PWM. So, you know we put an mppt in there and it's probably going to get more efficient than that so great uh, great success and i mean look at these views out here in yakima eastern washington in april 85 degrees today it was gorgeous uh we are having a blast hopefully you got something out of this video if you got any comments about your 12 volt fridge um situation or how you you guys are getting down with your solar and your 12 volt fridge go ahead and drop us a comment let us know what you think about it uh and uh yeah hit that thumbs up and uh make sure you stay tuned to the channel because you never know when we're going to come out to eastern washington try out our solar boondocking and stack it up against our 12 volt fridge you never know when that's going to happen but until then we'll see you guys in the next adventure.